history being made in the KCU sports world. Ryan Marshall checks in from the ice. Hockey is just for boys, right? Well, not a carriage club in Kansas City. Ten girls, mostly in fifth and sixth grade, are part of Casey's first ever all-girls hockey team. I think it's really exciting for them, and they, there are a lot of girls that have just started playing, knowing that if we got enough girls that we would be able to have an all-girls team. My brother and my dad played, and then one time my mom asked me, do you want to play hockey? And I didn't really think about it, and I just said, sure. I decided to get into hockey because um, I used to be a figure skater, and it... I saw the hockey players in the ice show. The sport people mainly think it's for boys, but it's also for girls too, and girls can crush it out there and dominate. But they haven't had a chance to crush it and dominate. There's simply not enough girls at their age range and recreational skill level playing hockey. And without competition, you can't play games. They're all co-ed teams at this point, but uh, uh, we did have enough girls uh, uh, to play in a separate tournament if we went to a tournament somewhere. That somewhere is a thousand miles away way at an all-girls recreational hockey tournament in St. Catharines, Ontario. They'll play their very first game in Canada later this week. I think it's a privilege to be in this all-girls team going to Canada. It's never been an all-girls team, so it's really cool to be a part of the first all-girls team. The girls out there are tough as nails and they're happy to, uh, uh, happy to jump in there. And these young ladies are proving every day that they can compete just as well as the boys. Reporting from Kansas City. I'm Ryan Marshall, 41 Action News.